Um, what's your comment on the game? You said that. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just pause it in here. Quick question: When to buy Deso? If the enemy doesn't have armor, most of the strength heroes and then intelligence heroes is lacking with the armor department. So, this was in the yeah. For What's your comment in this game? L let me just put it in here. Uh, what's your, what's your rank? Crusader five, right? Let me just update it in here. Crusader five. Um, let's put it in here. All right. Your comment in this game is um, hard lane and start. Really, now? You should have seen really not. Coming. <laughs> Fuck the timing. <laughs> Let me read. No, 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 it shouldn't be here. No, it's it's fine. Your comment is um, hard lane and start. Need some strats to counter a hard lane and survive. When to take fights, how to jungle without much vision, and push when there's no vision. I would like to learn all, uh, learn about all these since Lycan is more of a pusher than fighter. But in this game, there was no damage dealer, so I had to fight. I need suggestions and advice on what I could, uh, what I could have done better to win. Um, did you win this game or? I didn't. Okay. Um, since, since we're talking about Lycanthrope, or Lycan, right now, um, you said that it's a hard lane and then start. So before you actually go into the lane, you need to consider about the items that you're going for. Um, the main reason why I think you have a hard lane is because you don't have any sustain right now. Right? So how can you lane properly or decently if you don't have any sustain? This is the biggest problem that I that you have in here. Instead of going for a crown, which only gives you like four attributes, like all attributes, I think it's better if you go for um, what you call this um, tango, and then go for iron branches instead, and then um, instead of going for crown, go rush the helm of iron will. Because this item will give you um, armor and an HP region, which is a good sustain item. The crown will not sustain you. So it's better if you rush this Helm of Iron Will than the crown in there. In this particular lane. And then once you got your Hel Helm of the Dominator, you can easily um, go to the jungle or even gank lanes. And another thing is that um, you can you can go for the Ring of Protection as well. And then you can have it for the uh, Vlads later. And then go for the Helm of Overlord because this item right now has the uh, Vlads and then Dominator as the component. So it's a really good build up. This is, this is a really good um, starting item as well for tankiness and sustain as well. Hey bro, 7k yet? Oh, not yet. Unfortunately, not yet. It's still 6k. I reached like 6.6, 6.7, and then dropped again. 6.2, 6.1. But yeah. And a new patch as well. So, um, in every hero that you're going to play, uh, Flame, you have to think about your laning stage and then what do you want to do? Or how do you want to lane? Are you going to play aggressive or are you going to play defensive? Check out the heroes. Possibly it's going to be Axe and then Lina. Since Morphling is already in mid. Yeah, Axe and Lina for sure. So the lane itself is um, really, really strong to me. And you actually go for the um, Feral Impulse, like early. L look at the bonus damage in here, only 12%, right? So only 12% bonus damage. You have 56 and then it only gave you like 6 damage. But the bonus HP region is only plus 2. Whereas with the uh, wolves, um, the damage is 26. 
both of them. So it's like 52, and then the health is only is also um, 325. Although it has like uh, mana cost, but level one summon wolves is actually good for the laning, at least for securing the um, for winning in the early trades. Because if you go for feral impulse, you, you need to have like two or three waves. Depends on if the support will um, lane and get experience. You're not going to uh, trade decently compared to them. Like Lion has stun, Lina has stun, and then this guy has um, battle hunger. So yeah, you cannot really bully anyone in here. The best thing that you can do is actually creep aggro just to be able to farm. New patch winning more? Yeah, that's the thing. Because in the last patch, I've been losing. <laughs> so, yeah, last hit. Okay, messed up as well. Um, you're actually asking a, uh, a tango for your lion. I mean, this lion is gonna be... is gonna be poor and then having a really hard time if you will keep on asking for tango. Lion is the uh, aggressive support. Thanks for the follow, Tamroy. Howl level two. It's a really interesting build. Um, the only another thing that I'm thinking in here, why you are not going for summon wolves is because of the axe spin, maybe, and then call it later. But again, if you. If you have your wolves, you can secure the range creeps or even the creeps in there, and then um, even harass the Lina with your level one or level two wolves, and then. Um... Bottom tower is under attack. Pa coach ka sa game mama ya para check my Discord pa sa Discord para makoch kita. Kasi nakapila yung mga yan eh sa ano sa Discord. I mean, the Howl has been has been buff, like recently, duration, but the cooldown is kind of bad early on. Yeah, attack damage reduction, armor reduction. But as you can see, you are actually losing the um, the, the laning. I mean, there's th there's no pressure on this um on the axe after all. Lion is busy on Lena. Perp aggro, just keep on aggroing. Shit, this line is going to be dead. Perp yep. aggro, maybe? No? Armor reduction, and then attack damage. That's it. Every 22 seconds. How you learn to speak Finnish? It's actually Tagalog, Muli. It's th it's thank you. In Tagalog. Helm, finally. This one is really gonna help you. Wait, what are they doing? Lion. Deny, deny. Yep. Aggro, maybe. No. Okay. Wait, why are, you, why are you not transferring it yet? This one is expensive as well. You should transfer it by now. Unless you want to buy something like uh, Magic Stick or... Region. Like Sal. You should... You should transfer it by now. Lightnings? Interesting. I'm going to fast forward the... Uh, the game like times two because there's nothing that is that is happening in here okay. you're actually lucky in this game in particular for me um there are so many things that you cannot you cannot do if they uh, ever pull this wave or stack it first and then pull later because lion alone cannot fight those guys the axe and then lena um you as well is going to prioritize the farm over fighting and your skill build is not going to achieve that much in the lane like harassment wise or anything nothing 
you will only rely on the right click and then if you ever right click the axe you are gonna lose as well because you got the uh, counter helix and then call as well and then lena with, with a stun so it, it will it will be different if you have someone walled in here at least like bully out the lena and then trying to scout it in here as well and then um stop their pull those shenanigans you're actually lucky that the enemy keeps on playing in this area of the uh you know in these creeps like they, did, they didn't do anything about the creep equilibrium nothing at all like they're just content with push or last it deny last it deny that's it they never think about stacking or pulling in here and then yeah, there's nothing that you can do um so in your lane the the, uh, the worst thing that you did in here is not buying the regen relying solely on the uh, lion and crown which didn't help you and then the skill build so if you're going to lane again in your upcoming games think about the uh, the heroes that you're going to play against and with so lion an aggressive support in nature he cannot do any aggressiveness in this lane because he needs to babysit you first and you cannot do any aggressiveness as well because you are going like this you didn't even transfer your helm of iron will which will really help you with armor and then region so you don't actually have to get this as well this is really um, really expensive man i don't know if this is a miscalculation or what but yep so here this is what I'm talking about. Once the laning, or once the crypts are like this, you, there's nothing that you can do. It's it's going to be difficult for you to actually lane if the lane is looking like this. Vanguard now, and yep, you cannot lane. They're just finding you. Wait, he actually used the mana drain from here. If the enemy is wise, they would understand that there is a vision in here. Maybe here. Uh, but the Lina is, has been scouted, you know? Yeah. Times two. You cannot kill this guy. Yeah, finally, Helm of Dominator. Let's see what will happen here next. Yeah, you're, you're being zoned out. Why you're talking about song now and then race? <laughs> Uh, where are you going? It's blocked. Yeah. Are you going to control any specific creep? That's Mud Golem. The, the Dark Hill Troll is actually good. You should use it immediately to uh, boost your farm. Like, take the, um, the Dark Troll Hill. Dark Hill Troll. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dark Troll Summoner. Ah, Dark Troll Summoner now. Okay. This one is the Hill Troll. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Control. Control it now. So you have to control it immediately. So you can uh, farm faster. Yeah, the, the, uh, the Alpha Wolf is nice as well. Alpha Wolf is nice for damage boost, the aura. But the problem with the Alpha Wolf though is that um, once you hit level six with a shape shift, there's no kill potential with the with the wolf. So even if you have like additional damage in here, and then critical damage from a shape shift, since it's only you and then the Lycan, they can just TP out. You don't have any um, stun or control, or even more damage like War summon wolves. And once you're at level six as well, um, you have to think about the uh, possible kill that you could make in the um, in the game. Um, w when I said that, um, w what are the heroes that you should catch right now or kill right now? That you know that um, the, the later the later the game goes, this hero is going to be unkillable for you or your team. So, 
I mean, you can even try to push right now in the top lane, but um, that tower is not going to be that great since it's only top offlane tower. Um, this one is actually good, good kill in the tower, but this is the most important one, the mid lane. So how can you um, get into the mid lane? Wait, why are there too many disconnections, right? So yeah, um, uh, maybe maybe you'll be uh, passive until you get like Vlad's. But um, even if you have like Helm of Dominator for me, I think you can easily uh gank and create space for your team, because um, the Lycan itself is not an actual hard carry. He's more of a tempo carry, which is a very few in the game. Something like um, what what are those tempo heroes that I'm that I could say, or tempo carry heroes. Um, Slark, one of them. Bristleback as well. Yep. Paano makala sa burnt out? Pahinga ka muna. Kung burnt out ka, ibig sabihin pagod ka. Pahinga ka. Huwag mo na pahirapan sarili mo. Thanks for the follow, man. Wait, you're actually microing your alpha wolf rather than your hero. And there are multiple heroes in here and then you're going to fight morphling oh uh, okay you should go on grimstroke wait Radiance bottom tower is under attack. You, you know each other m and i and then sahith so the your face your first usage of the shape shift is actually real bad for me and the cooldown is actually high in the uh face shift even here at this point like you shouldn't be afraid so let's say you go for shape shift in here. Maybe you just panic and then you didn't realize that your team is actually coming up here. Top tower is under so even if Lion is dead, you can actually go for OT and then kill someone in there. But the question is, who is that hero that you must kill? It's not going to be Morphling because he can just uh, attribute shift. This guy, that guy is actually dead if you come closer. So here. Right. Maybe you didn't realize that this guy don't have any more mana. He used the uh, Laguna Blade earlier to kill the lion. So at this point, instead of going for the Morphling, which is really difficult to kill, and then this guy has Vanguard, go on this guy, turn around. This guy cannot be saved. He only needs to go for TP in order to be saved. And then there's no more stun on this guy. And Lina is in here. I, I don't know, maybe this is a uh, panic uh, play from you, but... Yeah, look, look at this, right? He used the Laguna Blade, stun, everything in there. That means he got no mana, and then you... Uh, this is a really hard kill. Yep, Grimstroke right there. You should go in there. That's open, I'm going to go to And what you're gonna... Yeah, you're just running around, doing nothing, or getting nothing. Right click, yep. And your team is still fighting. I guess you, d you don't realize how strong you are right now. And also the enemy, how weak they are. I think that's the issue in here. And then now you don't have the ulti, you're going to fight. Which is... I mean, at this point, you're not going to do anything. Right? You don't have a safe ship. I mean, at least the Howl managed to uh, help in there. So how much gold how much gold you gain in there just trying to kill the axe? I don't think it's actually worth it. Because at that specific time as well, that everyone is busy in the uh, in this area, if you have a different build like summon wolves, I think you can easily take the tower in the mid lane. I think. Because if you pressure the mid lane, um the Wraith King is going to be forced to defend the mid lane, but it's going to be difficult for him as well since he's only a Wraith King. And instead of defending tower, he needs to uh, farming as well. So yeah, skill build. And again, um, if you have your if you have your items like this, and then you're not going to complete those items immediately, like you need um, 950 golds, and there's no way that it will it will be there for like one or two camps or three camps, right? 950 golds. Might as well just transfer it immediately. So. There's no need for you to uh, be holding your items. It's not like before that everyone has or e 
every team only has one courier now every hero has their own courier so you have to take you have to take advantage of the courier free courier and then you're playing in the wrong side of the map like you're going to the offline again Lycan is a tempo hero okay if you miss your timing like you, you couldn't end the game or you cannot take the rack around 20 minutes 25 minutes your effectiveness as Lycan is gonna be gonna be lower than it should be because right now this is actually your peak peak strength for the Lycan to um, run the enemy down before they can deal with your summons so 15 minutes you'll get your vlads but before that all of your items has been there for like a minute or two minutes or even three minutes so it's not really that effective and then you're running low on your mana so if you manage to um give your basilius early you are not going to have this kind of issues yep you really need to aim for the support because the supports are not going to farm as therefore they don't have items like go scepter glimmer cape first have to save themselves and naturally morphling has two escapes not actually two escapes but one uh, one is the waveform and then the other one is the tankiness of the attribute here and then acts as vanguard which is really difficult because you deal physical damage so yeah and then you you manage to get the uh, the top tier one but the problem with the, with taking the top tier one is you cannot invade the triangle right your team or yourself is not that strong yet to get the triangle and if you're going to farm this you should go for the um some uh, for the ghost lady first because that slows down the uh, attack speed and then they're fighting again mid lane so um here's here's another thing that i will teach you right so while you here so you're, you're picking up a, a talent in here and then moving to the river right or even going for the uh, double damage um since you already issued the command to take the double damage you can actually go for right click in here and then shift to the to the uh, large camp on the right side and then while while it's already in motion you can actually look around and then check the items of your team or the enemy like what are the spells that they use because look at your camera angle right there, there's so many opportunity here that you can look around the map check their items check their spells check your teammates progress because um if you stay like this once you fight later i think you will be surprised if someone has ghost scepter or glimmer cape because you don't have any info about it you you are not scouting the enemy's items which is uh, a counter to you, to you like Ghost Scepter in particular so you, you need to watch out for those things because right now the neutral creep is not going to run away from you it's just gonna stay in there and while you're at finishing it you want mid lane and then you're going to contest and then you're pinging for your helm of the overlord I don't know what's the reason why the um, Queen of Pain is still staying in here Possibly he's close with his items. I think he just got his which uh which, which the what's the item again? Um, which blade? Yeah, I think he just got it. And then, the difference between your hero and then the Queen of Pain is that um Lycan is a uh, is a good jungler, while the Queen of Pain is not. So that's one of the reason why she is clearing the mid lane instead of you, Lycan. If you ever show yourself in the lane, like what happened in here in the mid lane um the supports of the enemy like the grimstroke and then lena they will not be afraid to show up in the top or in the bottom show up or make a move in top or bottom because they know that you are in the mid lane and pushing right uh if you ever use the shape shift they could see it first because you showed yourself in the creep wave so you're going for helm of the overlord now that's nice um yeah this is what happened they know that you're in the mid lane um you want the black dragon okay your queen of pain died and then disengage nothing else yep 
I think at this point of the game, the game is actually over. I think. Because um, the later the stage goes, uh, the harder is it for you to, to uh, make an impact to the game. You're just going to split push in here all day. And then they can actually deal it. Reconnected, Helm of the Overlord. Um, do you actually need the Black Dragon to farm in here? I think even with Wolves or even with yourself, you can easily farm it. Um, I would suggest that you set up a hotkey for your Black Dragon and then have it in the other lane that you're not playing. Essence Ring, okay. You're still farming in here, even though your team respawned and then you have um, Shapeshift and then the enemy is just diving. Summon Wolves, okay Lina, are you going to kill Lina? Still no? Okay. Defend bottom? I mean, if, if you're going to defend as Lycan, it's not gonna be that great. Because Lycan is a pusher, he's not a uh, tower defender. And yeah, you are walking in here without any vision. Like, um, if, if the enemy team is pushing your tier 2 like this, you have to assume that this is warded. Unless you have your own observer in there, you can safely go from the mid lane to the bottom lane. But if you don't have any uh, observer ward right there, you have to assume that they have vision in there. They are just waiting for you to, to come in there. Like what happened in here. In the first place, you should not be defending that tower. In the first place. Because you're a Lycan. And you don't have any vision. And your team is dead. Like Queen of Pain is showing in the top lane. Right? And then Lion died. And overextension from the enemy though. I mean, no. When the moment that they killed your Lycan, they should back off by now. I don't know why they are trying so hard to to, uh, to proceed. Now you're even pinging for Observer. Even though it's, it's gonna be a waste of time in here. With your Lion and waste of gold as well. Like 50 gold. That 50 gold is actually um, massive for every support player. Thanks for the follow, who beat? Push. You still have a shape ship though. And then it's going to be 4 versus 5. You saw the axe. Uh, what's your next move? Farm again? It's already 20, 20 minutes and then you're not really fighting. If you're going to, to go for the uh, farm build, um, flame. I think you should go for a different route instead of the um, Helm of the Overlord. The, the the other alternative that I saw with the Lycan, like safe lane, they're going for Echo Saber, even Armlet. Echo Saber or Armlet. And then going for um, Desolator or even Nullifier. Skip the wave, yep. It's actually much easier with Black Dragon. Hindi na kailangan sabihin yun. Malayo, malayo, malayo yung punto mo. Dapat nasa laro lang tayo kung ano yung nangyayari. <laughs> Wolves are invis but he needs to have level 3 on it. But the problem with his build is that he maxed out the Feral Impulse. And therefore, he doesn't have the... Um, he, he went for 0 to 4 on the Lycan. So here, look how easy... It it is for you to kill the um, the, the Grimstroke, right? He's so defenseless. If you did this like ages ago, I think you can steamroll them. And then, yeah, this is really a problem with your skill build. You should not max out the Feral Impulse. You're you're out of the uh, safe ship now, but you still have the life seal. You can go for Howl and then maybe uh, fire on that uh, Black Dragon. Black Dragon? Yeah, it's nice. Joke lang. Kaya alam ko. Pero wag ka magkaganon, ang layo ng punto mo. Mga galit yun. So after after winning a battle in the mid lane, like in, in those engagements, see your map movement. Right? You went back to jungle. Um, what are the good things that you can 
what are the objectives that you can take from here? So you can either go push this tower or Roshan. Roshan. You don't need to, to play in bottom. Right? There's no need for you to play bottom. This is 3 versus 5. 3 versus 5. You have the number advantage. So if, if ever that you will go to the Roshan in here, those respawning heroes, which is actually their cores, like the Wraith King and then the Morphling, they have to spend like 3 seconds to TP in here and then walk from the tower to here, to the Roshan, to contest it. Here, from the mid lane, to the Roshan. So th th there's no need for you to go like this and this. You did not take advantage of the number that you have. And again, we're talking about Lycan, which is a timing-dependent hero. Right? You have to play fast with a hero. I mean, if I said play fast, I don't mean that you have to go for boots, you know, to move, to move faster. But um, objectively speaking. So you have to think that in every game, it's always going to be objectives over kills. Because if you manage to get all of the objectives, like outer tower of the enemy, let's say, they have lesser space to farm, like safely, um, safe farming camps. So yeah, here, um, since you missed the timing, they managed to kill the Queen of Pain, and you're still here. It's almost um, 25 minutes now, you're finishing your AC. I mean, you can farm your AC even with, um, with Aegis as well. And then the good thing about Roshan is that everyone in your team will get bonus golds and experience from killing Roshan. And then once you have o the Roshan, you can play with the enemy triangle because someone has two lives. Give it to Queen of Pain or Mars, it doesn't matter. If it's Lycan, it's really bad because um, because of the shape shape thing. Like DK thing as well. So smoking now with double damage, okay. Um, the bottom limb is, is being pushed in, so it's all kind of obvious. Mid lane. Okay, so th there's the enemy triangle now, or yeah, almost around it. So which your target? Grimstroke, nice. Lena, nice targeting. But at the same time, they managed to jump the uh, the other guys. I I'm not sure about your micromanagement with your Lycan, but um, since you know that the axe has blink dagger. Maybe uh, leave the wolf, wolf or wolves attacking the axe to cancel his blink dagger, and then with your with your lycan and then the uh, the black dragon, you can just go to the uh, squishy supports, right? Because um, the moment that the axe managed to blink in, they just killed immediately the heroes, like the uh, lion and then the queen of pain. If those heroes will survive longer, like Lion and then Queen of Main, they can do a lot of chaos in a team fight. And to be fair, the only hero that can jump in the enemy he in the enemy side is only Axe as well. So you can go for Grimstroke again. She ran out of mana, like 26 minutes, and then he doesn't have charge against Lion. I think he's dead. He should he should die. What? What was that? It's a mechanical issue, right? What happened in here? Dire structure. It's a it's a mechanical mistake, I think. Mechanical mistake, yep. Yeah, mechanical mistake. Mechanical mistake. <laughs> I, I, I got concerned for a second that you might be disconnected, you know? Because you didn't move or anything after that. <laughs> That's actually a free kill, and then you just let him survive because of that mouse problem. Well, shit happens, of course. So here, um, moving forward, all right? The the risking is bad. <laughs> um, I guess the matchmaking is just working, right? And no more fling. Yep, yeah? you're going to control their enemy triangle. It's nice. You actually got AC, and then um. After, after AC, you're going for Echo Saber. Um, th that's something that I will not really recommend, like Echo Saber. 30 minutes Echo Saber? Not impressive. I will never recommend Echo Saber 30 minutes into the game. 
Like, if you want Echo Saber, you, you have to ha you have to get it like first or second item. <laughs> He's noob. <laughs> Okay, and again, you're going for more flank. Come on, man. Y you did a very good job earlier, like going to the Grimstroke and then Lina at the start of the fight, but now you're going to more flank? It feels like you're back to your old ways. And yeah. Never go on something that you cannot kill. Like more flank? That that's gonna be impossible for you to do. And then you have a very uh, time specific window that you can that you can be useful, right? Since you don't have the safe shift, you're just walking quick with some summons. You have to understand those things. Like always. Always, always. Imagine if you kill that Lina, he will not be able to stop you from going for Roshan because he's the stunner in there. Echo Saber and BKB. Ah, I think I have the Null Fire in that game. Lol. I I have nothing fire in that game. So I have to deal damage. But in this game though, if you think about this game, like going for Echo Saber against Axe, Morphling, Wraith King, I don't think it's really good. It's it's a case-to-case -case basis though. I can I can give you I can show you my Lycan replay that I went for the Echo Saber like fourth or fifth item. But I have the uh, nullifier, and then the enemy cannot escape from me. And I want to burst the hero immediately, therefore I went for the uh, Echo Saber. So yeah, that's my reasoning behind it. Don't question me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's fine if you question me, it's fine. Uh, but I think I discussed it beforehand. Like, I have to do burst damage. And what is the item that I can, that I can buy to deal more damage? And yeah, in this game, um, at this point, Flame, your effectiveness with your Lycan, it's it's really low now. And I, I don't think I don't think you can do a lot of things in this game now. I think the, the game is lost after this. I think. Yeah, I think the game is lost in here. Uh, again, I, I can I can really show you th that replay, and then I can. Um, I, I, the situation is very different. Like we're just split pushing because we cannot fight them anymore. Because um, that's something like this as well. Like in this game, since your effectiveness in a team fight is already gone, the best thing that you can do is a split push. That's the best thing that you can do right now. A split push. If you want to fight. The target that you must go is still gonna be Grimstroke and then Lina. But I will prioritize Lina over Grimstroke because of the burst damage. There's a lot of ways to play Lycan. Um, it, since my Lycan is an offlane one, I have to do like space creating and then um, scouting with my summon wolves since it's more of a uh, envy. Right? Um, if your wolves are always scouting, that means the enemy has to buy sentries just to make sure that your wolves is not scouting or seeing them. Because in Immortal Bracket, vision is really important. But yeah, I think your timing is gone in here. Like, um, at this point, I don't think we are going to learn anymore in this, um, in this particular game. And then you're going for BKB as well. Like, um, let's check out their their lineup, right? So Wraith King is physical damage hero. Morphling can do both, like magical and then physical. Axe is a uh, pure damage and then BKB piercing disable. But their supports are magic based. So you're actually itemizing BKB, I think, for the uh, for the spells of the enemy supports, which is not really a good. A good one because their supports you can easily kill them with shift shift if you want to easily kill them you you must go for something like nullifier nullifier over bkb in that way they cannot yield they cannot go scepter they cannot glimmer or four staff you know beastmaster is good too because of the helm of the overlord so yeah at this point flame i don't think we're going to learn anything um 
the game is just gonna be played out as it is and then uh it's still not gonna be it's not it's not gonna change the fact that um you lost your timing and you're just going to rely on the enemy to commit mistakes so i want to know if you do have any questions for me regarding the analysis session that we did any clarifications or whatsoever your micromanagement needs to improve as well like 20 minutes ago or 20 minutes into the game you don't need the wolves to actually clear the wave or the camps you can just have the uh, the black dragon earlier and then your hero you can easily uh, clear the camp or even with just with just your hero you have your summon wolves scouting you have your black dragon split pushing and then you hiding in the in the neutral camps so yeah do you still suggest going Overlord as safe lane Lycan? Um, it depends on your playstyle. Because if you want to play fast, like end, end the game before 25 minutes or even before 30 minutes, Helm of the Overlord is one of the best items that you could get as Lycan safe lane. You go for that item if you are going to end and play fast. But if you're going to play like this in the replay and then you rush the Helm of the Overlord, it's not gonna be that good. Might as well just go for Midas and then actual farming or carry items. Something like Echo Saber, Armlet, Nullifier, right click build, Deso, AC. But Helm of the, the Overlord, you must play really quickly. End the game before they, they can take care of your neutrals or summons. Any follow up questions though? Flame. Because if you don't have any questions to me, um, I'm going to end the replay analysis and then summarize your game in the in the in the graphs or in the scorebook. I will practice the micro and team fights and come back next week. All right. So that means there's no more questions, and I really appreciate your time, Flame. So to summarize your game, um, early game, as your Lycan, this is not this is not just applicable to to Lycan. This is um, applicable to every hero that you're going to play. If going into the lane, or even with just drafting phase, like strategy time, think about the hero that you're going to lane. In this game, it's the lion, and an enemy. It's going to be Axe plus one, Axe Grimstroke or Axe Lena, whatever it may be, and then itemize against it. So instead of going for, uh, let's see it here one more time. So first thing that you must improve is your itemization. Since you know that it's going to be Axe and then Lena, instead of going for Killing Blade and then Crown, which you don't have any sustain items and then you're relying on Lion with the Tango, it's not really good. It's not really helpful into w winning the lane compare it to the enemy that both of them has their own sustains right lena has the, has his own sustain axe has its own sustain and you in your lane in the top lane it's only lion that has the sustain items and you the safe lane is kind of liability you cannot do anything about the lane because once the lane is being pushed you you cannot really play deeper because you know that you don't have sustain and lion could die as well and then you cannot help the lion after all since you're lycan with no boots or you lycan with no safe shift lycan with no wolves right so itemization is the biggest problem of you and the laning stage because your comment in the game is what or hard lane and then start right hard lane and and start and then you, you want some strats to counter a hard lane well it's not actually a hard lane you just countered yourself you just um your decision to go for the crown no sustain is what led to the uh, hard lane that you experience in this game so yeah think about the lane La laning laning partner and then uh laning enemies and then itemize properly from it and then after that um skill build this is one of the useless lichen that i ever saw in the early game so going for feral impulse like maxing it first even though you're not actually right clicking you went for Helm of Overlord, which is an aura item. So you should go for Summon Wolves first. Max the Summon Wolves, and then followed by the Feral Impulse, and then you can go for Howl. And then, of course, Shift Shift. 
and then you will be able to maximize the potential of the helm of the overlord. So aside aside from skill build, the next one is um hero hero priority in a team fight or in the game. Um, you you don't have the consistency. Like first usage of shape shift, you went to an impassable target like Morphling, which rendered your shape shift and your early strength useless as Lycan. And in the mid game, you, you managed to go for the Grimstroke and then Lina, which is really impressive, which is really nice. That's something that you must recognize. Like, what are your targets and what are, what are the heroes that you should not go as Lycan? So in the mid game, you managed to find Lina, Grimstroke. I like it, but you don't have the consistency because, um, later stage of the game, you went back to the Morphling or Axe or Wraith King. You did not prioritize those supports again. And then, Lina and then Grimstroke, their spells are kind of destroying your teammates. So yeah. Hero targeting and then um, hero timing. We, we can talk about hero timing as well. Like the enemy is, be is being outnumbered. Like no Wraith King, no Morphling. Instead of going for the jungle, you should go for Roshan or objectives. Um, hero timing, Lycan. He's really weak past 30 minutes. If the enemy can survive 30 minutes or more, or even uh, 25 minutes, that they can clear your illusion, uh, clear your wolves, and then summons or the the neutral, the, the the helm of the overlord, your gameplay is ruined. And the supports has defensive mechanisms like Ghost Scepter. Your effectiveness is really low now. And then map awareness or uh map placement as well like farming pattern that kind of thing it's included in there in the hero timing because if you if you understood your hero timing and potential as lycan you should go stick to the team and then push instead of going for farming like safely playing three lanes at once so yeah and then itemization um i don't know if that's a comfort one a comfort item um, you, you have to do it like in the mid game ask yourself or in the late game what's their main source of damage what's their what's their way into winning the game and the BKB the, the, the BKB choice in there is not the greatest because they don't rely on magic or spells like Grimstroke, Lina which is only supports and then the cores like Axe, Morphling Race gang, they don't care about your BKB. So, three out of five doesn't care about your BKB. Therefore, it's not the greatest item that you could buy at that point. So yeah, maybe abyssal, anything. Aside from that, will really help you. And yeah, that's all that I can um, talk about your game, Flame. I just want to know if you have any follow-up questions, though. Because if not, uh, I'm going to put a check mark on your request in here in the Discord. Um, it's it's marked completed now, and don't forget to give me a feedback if my analysis is helpful. Play a game or two or a day or a week, and yeah, get back to me. Show me the results if it's if you're performing better or not, so I can um, help you further. All right, thank you for your time.